What's up? How are you guys this week? Happy Memorial Day. Wasn't sure if I was going to be down here working today, but I pressed some button on my camera and the whole vlog shot in like slow motion with no sound. I think it's called panoramic or something. So uh, we're here filming the vlog for the second time. Uh, I was doing some hot cold therapy in the freezer for three hours. <laughs> so I'm not having too much fun. But uh, hey, on the bright side, we were going to complain about a $700 chargeback, but we emailed the person and they paid us back. So we'll definitely touch on that later. This week is the biggest giveaway we've done so far, I believe. Two local ground beef and one beef blood free with every order, which is like a $25 value. So if you place an order from like Wednesday of last week through Tuesday, uh, tomorrow, every single order is going to get that. Again, two pounds of fresh local ground beef and one beef blood fertilizer for your garden as it's getting warm outside. Uh, had a bit of an odd interaction yesterday. So yesterday was Sunday, day before Memorial Day. I was on my computer and I hear a lady yelling, hey, is anyone in here? And I, I was thinking in my head, Frank, that's why you locked the door. <laughs> um, so I, I, walk, I walk over here and it's some like, what happened right here? It's some like middle aged lady in a swimsuit, like she was coming straight from the pool. And she was like, oh, are you the owner? I should do a Karen voice. Oh, are you? Hi, are you the owner? I was like, yes, how can I help you? And she was like, I have a, a little tomato farm stand. You think I could like set up in front of here? And I was like, that's such a, that's a very boisterous thing to ask someone, you know, to go into someone's business and ask them to set up your business in front of them. So I, I, I kind of gave her like a puzzled face and I was like, uh, no. But I expected the conversation to continue and I was like, gonna be nice and apologize. Look, I understand, but like, come on, let's be reasonable. So then, before I could do anything, and I was wearing this, by the way. The lady called me up. I can't say that word anymore. One of my favorite words, though. So she called me one, and then I was thinking, I don't look, I don't look like I'm gay. I don't look like I'm And I know I don't look or sound like that. So then she kind of stormed off, and I was like, this lady's crazy. Let me follow her outside and see what she does. So she just like kind of got in her car and sped off. <laughs> but, like, dude, I'm paying... 10,000 a year here just in taxes, dude, it's insane. I do have to open up something myself, but it's not gonna be some old lady Karen uh, selling her tomatoes. <laughs> Bro, I was like, I was like, who could possibly be bothering me on a Sunday before Memorial Day? Like, I don't have any deliveries, no one's coming here. Let me show you guys something real quick new that we have here. So it actually looks almost identical to the apples. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we have organic jarred honey crisp apples on frankiesforrangefoods.com. I eat these for dessert almost every meal. And then, <laughs> see, it looks like apples, but these are actually potatoes. Uh, so we bought some extra potatoes and our Amish buddies jarred them for us, charged me way too much money. They must have an Amish Mercedes or BMW or something over there now. But organic crusted potatoes, sea salt, glass bottle mineral water, and there's a little bit of organic vinegar in here. These potatoes are delicious. I was eating them straight out the jar, didn't even heat them up. And what I like about this is that we haven't had uh, a healthy starch that was just ready to eat with a meal. Now, I could get like a jar of these potatoes, I could get some of our jerky, and like a jar of the jardiniera, and I basically have a whole home-cooked meal just ready to go, you know, because what am I gonna, like rice, sourdough bread, all that stuff requires preparation, but I'm really happy and excited to have this product. It's $11 a jar on frankiesrangefoods.com. And for 24 ounce jar with this quality, it's not a bad price. I wish they wouldn't charge me so much so I could charge less, but we have a decent amount of, of these jarred potatoes. But uh, we'll see how that goes. You guys can't see me because of the lighting. Should I walk backwards? So we do plan on doing some more of those jarred products this year. Maybe a tomato sauce, maybe some horseradish, maybe some fresh cauliflower instead of fermented cauliflower. Uh, let me show you guys. Did I say we have a lot of new stuff too? We have a few new products this week. Uh, a few new special things that we'll, we'll show you guys right now real quick after I tell you that. Foods website, a few new products like this organic vanilla paste, which is a great deal for four ounces. Uh, most of the bars are out of stock, but we have all the fats in, marrow oil is back. On the Naturals website, we're still doing that liquidation, guys. So if you want like 
I'm basically I'm charging what I paid for it. I hope I don't have to lower the price anymore, but like the shampoos, the deodorant, I mean, there's not that much that we even have for sale, but some of the stuff is on liquidation if you guys do want to try it out. And then we should have some new products in here. I might make my own shampoo. Oregon Supplements, we have the vitamin D back in stock and we restock the Lemon Light, which is the best electrolyte supplement on the market, no question, with electrolyte ratios being actually correct and only organic high quality ingredients. So that's the main thing, guys. Huge sale on naturals. Bug sprays back on naturals too. We got Lemon Light and Vitamin D back on Oregon Supplements. Might have some more stuff on Oregon Supplements in a few weeks, but I'm not 100% sure. But the main new stuff, is in the fridge and freezer. So deja vu, we got all the fresh raw dairy ready to ship out tomorrow for you guys. Restock some cheese curds. We restocked, we've been running out of raw butter every week, so we did get some butter in stock for you guys. Roast turkey breast is back. That's a big thing. Uh, we got some extra turkey breast from our farmer, so we should have the roast turkey sliced deli meat for a few more months if you guys have been missing that. This is the, the free beef blood that's coming with every order for your garden. And uh, Frankie made more of the steak sauce. I didn't think I was going to because it's a lot of work, but <laughs> I told you, I think I showed you guys last week. I bought a pallet of coconut aminos, so we got to use it up and I got to make my money back. So we do have our A plus steak sauce plenty back for you guys, which honestly, it seems to get better week by week as the flavor develops, you know. I, I've had, I've tested this recipe and after, even after a month in the fridge, it's still absolutely delicious. On the water kefir end of things, I think we have seven or eight flavors now. Uh, the latest new flavor here is cranberry, but we have blueberry, pineapple, uh, there's cherry, orange, apple, a lot of different flavors, frankiestreerangefoods.com for the water kefir. Our fresh meat shipment, as usual, has come in. Plenty of fresh local ground beef. This might be our last, shi well, next week's our last shipment of fresh ground beef for like a month. So if you guys want to stock up on some fresh meat, we have ground beef and we have a lot of uh, bone in porterhouse as well as ribeye steak. So that's the fresh meat selection, same as the past few weeks. Local fresh ground beef, bone and ribeye steaks porterhouse steaks this is a new product though uh, you guys saw we had the smoked and cured beef bacon in we did the same thing with the pork bacon so the raw iberico pork bacon that we've been selling for a few years now we finally cured it and smoked it to be a more traditional bacon now this is twenty dollars whereas the raw bacon is 17 so this isn't that much more expensive but like our beef bacon and pastrami which are new products that we launched about three weeks ago now these are, these are a little more expensive. So we got super high quality beef bacon, super high quality pastrami. I think we're running low on this, guys, and I honestly don't know if or when I'm gonna make more uh, because it is a lot of work, and uh, I can't really charge that much more for it because people won't pay the extra price. So uh, maybe we'll take a break for a few weeks after we run out of this. Plenty of eggs. Uh, most of the eggs are sold, I think, but uh, we are getting a little bit a little bit backed up on the on the quail eggs and the duck eggs. So the quail eggs guys are only on the foods website, uh, but the duck eggs are on both the meat and foods website. And something I can't show you yet because it's, it's ready tomorrow, uh, which I'm excited about, is carne asada skirt steak marinade. And that's something I've wanted to do for years now is take you know the basic cuts of like beef, pork, or chicken and do a marinade on it and have it ready to eat. Now, it cost me you know, four or five, six hundred dollars in marinade ingredients at wholesale prices to do 300 pounds of skirt steak. But to you guys, it only translates to a dollar, paying a dollar or two more per pound for the steak. So I'm excited to do that. Um, the skirt steak that you guys buy, it's going to be marinated already. You're just going to have like a one pound steak in a package and you just throw it on the grill and it's ready to cook. So really, really special. Made it with organic coconut aminos, fresh squeezed organic orange juice fresh squeezed organic lemon juice. We got some fresh organic cilantro, organic oregano, organic garlics in there. Really, really special. Uh, some sea salt, filtered sea salt, organic black pepper. I'm, I'm really excited about that carne asada steak recipe. And uh, today, Monday, posting the vlog, it's not ready. It should be ready by like Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, it'll be on the website. So it will be available very shortly this week. Um, I'm gonna put 
my camera down here and we're gonna film with my phone in the free on the freezer because with the contrast and temperature now where it's like 75 degrees out here and zero in the freezer the camera is like not functional for an hour so the, the phone seems to be okay though because I use the phone in the freezer and then I switch back to this and then we're good all right So this might be like the most amount of orders we've had to do at once because of the holiday Monday. Like we got all these orders here and then we have quite a few orders to fill. So we're going to try to send everything out Tuesday as soon as possible. Uh, most of the new stuff for you guys uh, is in the back over here. But first let me show you guys uh, just a, a little quick deal we have. If you guys are interested in getting a good price on the on the raw collagen sausage the raw collagen sausage and the hot dogs that we currently have are eight dollars a pound on sale uh, these are the organic hot dogs made with like fresh onion fresh garlic this is just a raw plain collagen sausage we're liquidating these at eight dollars a pound because one we want to stock up stock up on hot dogs for the fourth of july and two we're replacing the raw collagen sausage with a smoked collagen sausage so you guys don't want to pay the usual $12 a pound for these, this is your chance to try them. That's all we have left. They might be sold out by the time the video's up. So yeah, over here we already have a lot of the, the new beef collagen sausage. So I like this a little more. Uh, the, the raw collagen sausage, honestly, I don't really like. It's okay. It's just very plain. This sausage is still very plain, but the smoked flavor and texture makes it a little more enjoyable. It's not like completely cooked through, so it still has a nice texture and flavor. Uh, the Iberico sausage are back. So this is our raw breakfast sausage. Uh, slightly altered recipe, little more maple syrup, little more honey. Very special product, but uh, we smoked the plain sausage. So the Iberico plain sausage is now smoked. So I haven't tried these yet, but I'm sure these are going to be really amazing and delicious. So. Instead of just having like uh, just a plain raw Iberico sausage with only salt, this is smoked. Kind of the same as the beef collagen sausage. Way too much liverwurst and pet food. Uh, we did restock chicken. So we finally have a decent amount of chicken that hasn't been selling out in a day. So if you guys want like the corn and soy free chicken breast, the chicken thighs, the chicken wings, uh, I've lowered the price a little bit to be you know kind of as, as low as what I can to to still be able to to make a pro uh, slight profit on this over here we just have a lot of collagen broth might give this away next week not sure yet the honey kefir ice cream is back available I wasn't sure if we were gonna ever sell this but the farmer kept bothering me to make it so if you guys want to try kefir ice cream which probably has a significant probiotic benefit we have it we have some turkey organs available now uh, if you go under the turkey giblet section we have like gizzards we have turkey necks there's like some heart and liver but the main turkey product that is now available is ground turkey uh, so we have corn and soy free ground turkey now that we've never had this before we've had ground chicken before but uh, a lot of you guys were asking for ground turkey so we're happy to offer it although in a limited capacity we should have enough for a month or two yeah, so brand new meat products this week are, I guess, in order of excitement, the cured and smoked Iberico bacon. We have a smoked plain beef collagen sausage and the two Iberico pork sausages are back. Uh, you guys have been buying a lot of those, very popular. So we have the raw breakfast sausage, which we've had just slightly improved recipe. And then we have the, the plain pork sausage is now smoked. So I guess a few brand new things for you guys. Uh, we showed you the uh, collagen pancakes recipe, I think. We have all the ingredients for that on the foods website, guys. Also some sourdough starter. We're going to do a, show you guys a short on the, um, on the sourdough pancakes, how to, how to make them sourdough. But uh, I guess we'll just read some reviews and chat a little bit. Yeah, guys, I'm exhausted. I said earlier, this is my second time filming this, so... Whenever I have technical difficulties or like stuff goes wrong, it's just already like, dude, whether it's been ShipStation, Shopify, the internet service, a lot of technical difficulties these past three weeks making 
everything a lot more frustrating. Like I'm, I'm already losing my mind, let alone if stuff's not working. So originally, like we had a $700 charge back and that was gonna be like probably a big focus of this video. Like guys, please help me out. I'm getting so screwed. Um, now it's just, now there's just a few chargebacks. I think it's like two or three hundred dollars total. But this guy that did the seven hundred dollar chargeback, I sent him an email. I said, you know, hey, I'm going to add you to the federal lawsuit if you don't pay the bill. Um, so he actually paid the bill because uh, he placed like two three hundred fifty dollar orders, and thankfully he paid us back after we you know, we had to threaten him. But the the lawsuit was filed already. I, I filed a lawsuit last week. Maybe one of you guys can find it. I think there were 62 or 63 people that stole meat from me in the past few years. So it's going to the courts now. Uh, it would have been a pain because I would have had to amend the lawsuit just to add him to it. So I would have had to, you know, reprint out all the paperwork, drive over to the courthouse, file the amended complaint just to add the new chargeback guy to the lawsuit. So um, it's it's one thing if like over the course of a few months. I get some more smaller chargebacks and then add them all at once in a few months, but we'll see what happens with the lawsuit. Um, don't I don't know I don't know how that's going to pan out, uh, you know, because six, 62 defendants is a lot. Sometimes the marshal service won't won't do that. You have to pay them, and I'm not. I don't know if I can. I don't know if it's worth paying a few thousand dollars to serve the lawsuit to all those people. But uh, that's that's done and over with. I'm, I'm trying not to stress out about it anymore. But now we have we have a legitimate. Like, we have legitimate leverage over these people that are trying to scam me and take advantage of me. Because I can show them, hey, there's an active federal lawsuit in the court now. If you're going to steal money from me after receiving perfectly good product, then you're going to be added to the lawsuit. Like, because um, a lot of time legal threats and stuff are just, you know, just blowing smoke because people can't afford a lawyer. But after you've been screwed about 15 times in court, you figure out how to do it yourself. Um, but I will say that there are probably four or five orders last week where I had to issue people refunds either because the, the meat didn't arrive in good condition or there was a product missing from the order. So these these chargebacks and these people stealing meat from me just, they never reached out to me. They, they ordered meat. I'll, I've said this before, but they've ordered meat. They received the product in perfect in hypothetically perfectly good condition because I don't know. They never emailed me. And then the bank, and they just file chargeback bank size with them. There, there's a new refund policy on the website, and I have to, I have to add it to our. We, I have a lot of, I have like a thousand dollars worth of order slips that we're putting in the orders right now. But I'm gonna have to probably put it on the order slip too. That if you're a first-time customer, you have to record yourself opening the box. If you have any concerns about the the quality, if you don't trust me, well, don't order from me. But if you have any concerns about the quality of the product, if you have if you're worried if it was in transit for a day longer, if you have any concerns, please take out your phone, film film yourself opening the package because I've had so many people try to scam me and lie and do all sorts of crazy stuff. I've had people take meat out, leave it on the counter overnight and say it's thought out. I've just had people do crazy stuff. So the only way for me to legitimately know if the meat is bad for or not is if you open it up and I see how you're opening it up. That's To me, that's fair. That's what I'd like to do moving forward mainly for first-time customers because, hey, all the order issues seem to be with first-time customers, mostly. Uh, so, that's that. I guess we can read some reviews. I, I tried to restore all of the reviews to my email because, like, we read them all yesterday and then I deleted them, so I tried my best to get them back. There was one uh, one girl sent an email uh, saying how much she loved the, the bacon um, I think it was the raw bacon though. Like she just took our plain beef bacon, put some salt on it, cooked in the oven. But now we have now we have the cured and smoked stuff. If you guys want more traditional, so uh, five star review for the pasture raised chicken eggs. My son has celiac disease and soy allergy. He's beyond ecstatic and excited that he can once eat eggs again. Thank you for sending them. The delivery is best. You guys get an A plus. Another five star review for the eggs. Great quality and good package. No damage even on a single egg. Excellent packaging. Yolk is very dark and egg is creamy. I'm using it for health purposes and it serves really well. Guys, for the amount of eggs we ship out every week, it's a lot. I'm I'm very shocked at how few eggs are breaking in transit. We have it's probably like that means that our, our breakage rate is like 0.01% or something insane. Five star view for the grass fed beef jerky. 
good jerky, tastes like good old dried beef and salt, no digestive issues caused by it either like the other brands that use a lot of BS in their beef jerky. So I think we had another review for the beef jerky too somewhere. Five star review for Frankie's liquid gold steak sauce. Frankie's greatest hit. Please don't stop making this, Frankie. I've ordered a handful of your products, and this is by far my favorite. In fact, I wish you would sell larger bottles of it or sell six packs with a small bulk discount. Very convenient way to get collagen stock in your diet. I've tried to make this myself, but it didn't taste nearly as good. Frankie, please, if you stop carrying this, could you please do a recipe video on how to make it with collagen-rich beef stock similar to yours? Thanks. <laughs> Hold on, Josh. Let me check your order history to see if you're ordering college and beef stock from me or if you're making it yourself <laughs> let's see Josh okay Josh you have one order with us and you only ordered the steak sauce with some hot dogs so if you're telling me you tried making your own steak sauce that means that you made your own bone broth and I find it very difficult to believe that you're able to make a collagen stock as high quality as ours as concentrated and gelatinous as ours for cheaper unless you're getting the bones for free then Hey, to each his own. To each his own. Five-star view for the milk-fed veal brains. What was my first time trying these? I like them. Chopped them up and had them with scrambled eggs. We'll buy again. Uh, we're sold out. Hopefully we get some back in this week. Five-star view for the Frankie Steak Seasoning. Uh, umami Bomb. My go-to for ground beef bowls. Unbeatable convenience. Yeah, so we have, we have a steak seasoning, which is dried powder. And then we have a steak sauce. So two different products. Five star review for the collagen bone broth. Great stuff. Since I've been drinking this broth, I have noticed a difference in my joint flexibility and fingernail growth. I'm not sure if I can contribute all of that improvement to this collagen broth, but I think it is helping you. I mean, my fingernails have always grown like crazy because uh, I've been doing basically, I have collagen broth every meal. I put it in my pancakes, I have it in my white bean puree for lunch, and then I have it in my beef udon for dinner. So it's like a small but consistent amount every meal. Five star view for the organic sourdough starter. This is on the foods website. The starter is alive and active. Took a few feeding cycles over the course of five days or so, but it's now up and roaring. roaring. Trying to make my first loaf this weekend. Already made some delicious discard pancakes. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, I'm back to making sourdough myself. Although it turns out okay. Uh, it's my favorite lunch. The only thing I can stomach. Five star view for the Rice Krispies treats. These are also on the foods website. Good flavor, very good flavor, good for a pre-workout snack. It is also very filling. He doesn't have calories listed, but with how dense and filling, it's got to be 350 to 450 calories. For most people, half a bar is good. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when we you use high quality saturated fats and organic ingredients in, in these bars that we have. They're very, very, very filling. So you're paying the same, you're paying the same price per calorie. So if you guys see my bars are three or four dollars each, but the ones in the supermarket are two dollars, first of all, ours are double the calories, so you're paying the same price per calorie. Second of all, we use much higher quality ingredients. You know, there's no BS pea protein, palm oil additives. A lot of I I remember I, when I was uh, when I went went to LA a month ago, I was in the supermarket because I wanted to. Well, I was just getting the regular groceries I needed, but I was looking through. I looked through every single protein bar in Whole Foods, and I didn't want one of them. Not one of them was acceptable from an ingredient perspective that I could eat that I knew would not cause me any digestive or sleeping issues. This is that other review for the beef jerky. Best I've ever had. This new method he's using is much better than any jerky he's released, and possibly better than I've ever had, even though the ingredients are just beef and salt. Well worth the price to have delicious lean protein ready to go when I head out for work. Yeah, we have the beef jerky plain back in stock on uh, frankiesrangefoods.com. Five-star review for the organic quinoa crisp. Nothing better. These bars are ridiculous, probably one of the most addictive things I've ever eaten, and as a result, I think I'm approaching at least 100 of these bars by now. There's literally nothing on the market as good as this. Frankie makes the cleanest, healthiest products, and that's why I eat them every single day. Yeah, I think we're like almost out of the granola bars and we're running low on the quinoa crisp, but maybe we'll make more this week. Five star review for the grass fed filet mignon tenderloin steak. Loved. Hubby won't stop talking about them. So good. 
Uh, another five-star roof for the chicken eggs. Amazing eggs. Been drinking raw eggs forever and had other quality eggs before. Other high-quality eggs before. This is honestly leagues above. Has a good flavor even when drank raw. And they likely taste amazing cooked sunny side up. Pack <laughs> Sounds like a raw tart fantasizing about eating cooked eggs. Packaging is amazing. One cracked egg, not a big deal, but they sent packaged in foam and they are completely surrounded and supported by the foam. Hey, send me an email. I'll give you your 65 cents back for your broken egg. Uh, five star review for the Cola Tira di Alisi. Amazing taste. This gives amazing flavor combined with the coconut aminos. I use it to cook my beef and noodles. Yeah, so we, we have a lot of like really high quality sauces and seasonings, you guys. So the coconut aminos and Cola Tira are available on the foods website. Um, and then the coconut aminos is an ingredient that we use in our steak sauce. So there's like a lot of different stuff you guys can use to spruce up your meals. Five star review for the coconut water. Amazing. Best coconut water I've ever tried. Yeah, that's why I sell it. I've tried coconut water before. I never liked it. And the taste Nirvana coconut water that we have, uh, we just restocked some of the large bottles. Really, really delicious. Do I have a bottle here? No. Um, great source of potassium too. Five-star view for the beef barley stew, organic and grass-fed. Very good. Whenever I eat it, I go into a daydream that I am in a Slavic village. <laughs> you guys make fun of my jokes. Should I get my Russian uh, hat that I wear in the freezer? I'll wear it, I'll wear it next vlog. Five-star view for the beef testicles, male virility. Beef and goat testicles. Oh, men, men. All of my buddies were quite impressed after I feed them hot pot with testicles. Happy wife, happy life, my men. <laughs> then he sent a bunch of emojis. Spaceship, drooly face, smiley face, monkey covering eyes face, thumbs up. I don't know, dude, if you're feeding hot if you're eating hot pot with your buddies, feeding them testicles, you sure about happy wife? <laughs> bunch of bunch of horny dudes eating hot pot to each his own. Not my thing. Might have to pass up on that invite. Firestar View for the grass-fed pastrami. Best pastrami ever. This is a special product. I love the... I love the... Guys, when I stutter and my mouth is messed up, it's because I had jaw surgery seven years ago. How many years ago is it now? I don't know. The point is, I had jaw surgery, and ever since I had the jaw surgery, it's not as easy to talk. Best pastrami ever. I love the prepared products Frank has come up with, like the beef barley stew, plain beef stew, chicken stew, vichy soie, roast beef, oven roast turkey breast, and now this. Hope we get more items like these on the site. Gyro and barbacoa when? Carne asada steak. Come in this week, buddy. I think that is a more popular option than, than gyro and barbacoa. I think I know what gyro is, but I'm not sure what barbacoa is. And we got a five-star view for the veal share. Have not had anything like it. Best ribeye steak ever. Goes good with Frankie's steak sauce. Yeah. it's The, the veal is leaner and more tender. Uh, we still have a decent amount of those veal shares on the website. Okay, so this is a negative review. One-star review for the grass-fed beef pet food. They sold me spoiled meat. I ordered 24 packages. The mix smelled absolutely disgusting. It was definitely rotten meat. I left a one-star review and they removed it. They're scamming people. So every time someone leaves a review like this, I go to check the pet food. And although it does not smell good, it's not rotten. It has a it has a pretty grassy, barnyardy organ smell to it. And sometimes the packages puff up and people think it's spoiled. But the, the farmer was putting, is he's putting ground up beef tongue in there too. And I'm guessing he's not really washing it that well. Because pets, pets can eat organs and stuff. So the the enzymes and bacteria on the beef tongue are probably causing some type of firm. Which, if anything, is like beneficial meat probiotics for the, the, the pet. Because we, se we sell probably 200 pounds of this pet food every week. And I get very few complaints. So I'm assuming that people's pets are eating this and they're enjoying it. So when someone sends me a review like this, I... I I want to address this and explain this, the, the few things, and even those those packages of pet food that are pressurized, I smell the meat and it's not spoiled or rotten. And to touch on that more, it's not even possible because the meat was, if today is Tuesday and that meat was slaughtered last Monday and kept at cold temperature, 
when you have freshly slaughtered beef that's not aged, the meat's not aged for 28, 21, 28 days like most cow carcasses are, it's good in the fridge for three or four weeks. So the fact that the meat is only a week old from the cow being slaughtered, it's not possible that the meat, it's not physically pot. If that meat was left out at room temperature, it would take more than a week to go bad. So uh, that's why we, I put a message on the pet food on the website. Please only try one package. Um, and despite that, a few people still try to scam me. They order like 10 of them. They'll say it's no good and try to get their money back. Well, I sold about 200 other of those and no one else complained about it. So go figure. But uh, maybe, maybe we'll have the farmer, uh, we'll tell him to stop putting the beef tongue, tongue in there. Uh, but some of you guys were asking what's actually in it. It's beef liver, beef heart, beef tongue, beef lungs, and beef udders. So it's just like a mix of a lot of different... So yeah, guys, we're, we're always doing a lot of new products. I'm doing a lot of giveaways. I'm, I'm really trying to push sales because... I gotta make something big happen this year, otherwise I, I'm gonna lose my mind, so... Uh, th thank you guys for continuing to support us. If you, uh, if you, you know, if you place an order, again, you're getting the the two free ground beef and beef load with all the orders this week, and we have all these new products, most affordable prices online for everything, including like the foods website, the organ supplements, especially the organ supplements. Like the prices we charge for those formulas, there's nothing else like them online, and they're very affordable. Naturals, we got the liquidation sale, and on Wi-Fi shielding, we have. All the clothing restocked. I'm always wearing my. I got my sweatpants and joggers on for full body coverage, and then I wear my uh, just two t-shirts always, just for some extra protection on my body. And I usually have my Wi-Fi shielding hat on. So, if you guys don't have the EMF protection clothing, it's the most affordable price online for it. Usually need to replace it every year or two because if you're wearing the shirt every day, it can kind of rip. Depends on how often you wash them, but. They do need to be replaced every year or two, uh, which is not unreasonable considering that you're literally wearing it all day, every day, 24-7. But I think that's everything, guys. I'm excited for uh, the products that we came out with this week. You know, we have, hey, the, the organic jarred potatoes, that's something special, you know. Even though we have, like, the beef barley stew, the Vichy Swa, all these products that are ready to eat, those are frozen. So if you forgot to, like, thaw it out, the potatoes are nice and convenient. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing the carne asada this week. That should be ready. And then we're going to have uh, hopefully a few new products on the naturals and organ supplements in the next month or two. Uh, but if you guys go to franktestefan.com, you can see all of these unique and interesting health businesses that I keep yapping about. Frankie's syringe meat, Frankie's syringe foods. Organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals. I don't really mention Giga Chad gum. We didn't even put it on the website yet. But we'll see. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Memorial Day. I'm going to go eat my lunch at 5 o'clock.